Shanti. So I invite you to join us for a few minutes of meditation. We begin by taking a few deep breaths. And as the body relaxes, I would draw my thoughts to the center of the forehead. I think of myself as a soul, a spiritual being. Sitting here behind the eyes. For a few minutes, I, the soul, think of myself as being separate from the physical body. I, the soul, am an eternal being. I remember my peace. I remember the silence of my soul. I let the mind relax. And I feel my own stillness. I am a soul at peace. tranquility. For a few moments, I detach my mind from all things physical. I remember my spirituality. I am a soul at peace. I am a soul in silence. I let the mind be still. I remember the Supreme Soul. I remember the Creator. I picture divine light. Think of the almighty authority. I think of God who is the protector of my soul. I the soul in the company of the Supreme.
I, the soul, a point of light. In the presence of the Supreme Being, I, the soul, at peace. Om Shanti. Thank you, Vijay. Thank you very much for that very relaxing meditation. And happy Monday, folks. It's the first Monday of October. Welcome to October. And as we welcome all of you, we are with the Miami Brahma Kumaris Meditation Center. And this is Vijay. And I am Dev, and we are here with you to have a conversation today. We're going to talk about what to remember. You know, we remember at the end of the day, so sometimes we preview what happened in the day in our minds. And as we travel throughout the day, what, who we have met during the day, who was nice to us, who wasn't so nice, the fun times we had with some, you know, with different things during the day, the challenges that we have. You know, during the, a lot of time during the evening, we, we think about these things, we remember them. So, what exactly should we remember? So Vijay, what did you remember from, let's say, yesterday? Um, well, I try to remember the better things. Um, you know, that memory affects me most when I'm about to go to sleep. If I remember negative things, it keeps cycling in the mind. You know, there's a lot of thoughts that keep cycling, and it takes a long time to fall asleep. If I specially or deliberately remember positive things, I remember something that I have read, I remember the eternity of the soul, I remember God. These positive things, these um, spiritual things even, they really relax the mind and then it's easier to fall asleep. I especially hold those thoughts in the mind. And when the mind runs away and it comes back, I come back and hold those thoughts. I, my experience is the negative thoughts come fast and furious. They are speedy, there are a lot of them. And you know, minutes pass by, 10, 15 minutes, half an hour pass by, and you're still thinking, thinking, thinking. So let us say negative thoughts or bad memory is most, I am most aware of them at the time of going to sleep. So, uh, so that, does that uh, prevent you from having nightmares? Um, I do, I think the, what you remember do affect the way you sleep and the quality of sleep you have. And yes, I think the mind does process. Things. Supposedly, you look at a movie before going to bed. A lot of people look at movies before going to bed. And what happens? What do they dream? <laughs> well, I don't know. I think long ago when I was a bigger movie fan, I didn't think they were having any effect. And I think the reason for that is because I saw so many movies that one night didn't make any difference to the other night. <laughs> but once I kind of got rid of the movies, because they wasted a lot of time, then I began to see the difference between looking at a movie and not looking at one. I think sleep has a, a what to say, a method, a way to sleep, to wind down, um, to sort of organize your day, to think what you have to do next, and to put to bed the negative thoughts, negative feelings. I mean, make a plan. 
think that upset you make a plan on how you're going to deal with it but then put it to bed before you go to bed so the question is what to remember um, and what you remember actually affects the way you feel for example if you remember something uh, that happened yesterday you had an interaction with someone who was really kind and nice and cheerful you would feel that when you remember you will feel you will feel yourself being in a nice place a nice um, feeling will flow over you but when if you remember that uh, someone who you know was shouting at you was rude to you uh, how do you feel think about it what do you feel when you think about the not so nice things or the not so uh, good encounters that you have had during the day what do you feel um, you know brother Charlie was from Australia he's a senior yogi was talking about that over the weekend and he was saying that any time you remember something which was not so pleasing and not so nice what you're doing there you are reviewing or you are reawakening that feeling so what you remember is how you feel and it's important to know or it's important to understand that we are in control of our feelings. Do you should be. We should be. Should be. <laughs> we should be in control. Um, that that is really, I think, what I try to focus on these days. Because while other people are playing their part, that is, say, playing their role in life, doing what they do, I try to concentrate on how I respond to what they do. So I try not to get too personally involved in their being upset or they're expressing negative feelings or whatever is going on with them. Because in a way I feel if I am thinking about what they are doing, they are occupying my mind, my space, so I have sold out to, to them. Oh, yeah, they, you, you know, know yeah. so landlord. Yeah, they, <laughs> they, they take yeah. up the space right. in my mind. They are taking up space in my mind like a rent and they're not paying any rent. <laughs> no income is gained from that. So I really try to focus on how I respond and what I could do or should do. So I work on myself, review myself and try to control my feelings towards the person. I really would like to have clean feelings, you know, not to I like the word clean feelings, you know. Not to think but anything. But how, how, is that difficult? How difficult yes, is it? Yes, it takes time. It takes time. It's something I'm working on, working on. It's not that I'm always able to do it right away. But over time, one is able to cleanse their mind and to let go the way we think. I think we develop a vocabulary of positive thoughts and even a vocabulary of positive feelings. So we could respond to people and at least be detached. We could respond to them and think, well, look, all our children of God, they are playing their part. We could respond to them and think, well, look, they must be disturbed and they really need some care. So then instead of <laughs> focusing on what they are saying, I focus on, look, this person really needs some attention. So I pay attention to the person, not what they are saying. Because I feel they need some, some moral support that is called that. So, yeah. so I, have, I create a feeling of positive support to the person. So and ignore what they are saying. <laughs> yeah, so you're saying that uh, if someone is, is saying something not so nice to you, or they're insulting you, or they're saying bad things about you, you 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 put a block on that? It's or? not so much a block, it's just that you don't pay attention to every word they speak, you know, because they are, let us say they are, they are, they are venting, you know, they are, they are letting go of their feelings, but I don't have to attach my feelings to their feelings. So you detach? I have to, yes, I, I think I should respond instead of reacting. I like, I like that response. So I'm thinking like, what, okay. what does this person need? They need some care. I, I think they need a lot of attention. So I try to be silent, you know, let them speak, let them focus, let them say what they have to say. But I don't want to take that up. I don't want to, you know, to absorb what they are saying. So I focus on giving the correct response.
So you given so you said two things uh, about a clean uh, mind and do not react but respond. And, but at the end of the day, uh, or not not the end of the day, any time in the day, any time in the day, if you review and you go back in time and you you feel you have a feeling about something and you start feeling down you you have to have that ability to see why you're feeling down why you're feeling you know the, a lesser you and a lot of the time it's because you remember something about a, a place a person or a situation and you know you can experiment with that home you know but think think about someone who you have a conflict with and what what happens with your feeling and think about someone who you, who you you really like uh, you you have you you feel good in their company they uplift your, your yourself think about it and how does it affect your feeling in the same way uh, we want to say that you know, we should be in control of what we remember because what you remember affects how you feel and how you feel determine and how you interact with other people. So there's a sequence of event. Remember, feeling and interact. And it's important that we interact with everyone around us uh, you know, in a peaceful manner, with respect and joyful way. Um, so, so it's so important to understand how, how the process of what to remember really is about. Yes, I wanted to add though that the review part, I try to do the review while the person is speaking in the company of the person. So especially people who have a lot of issues and they're talking a lot. I review while they're speaking. What am I reviewing? I am reviewing what do the person need and what should I give? So right there I review my response and I try to keep my response positive. I try to see the positive view. I try to support their feelings so that they feel good about themselves. You know, they feel strong, strengthened. And the more I do that, the less I review afterwards. Okay. <laughs> you're not much of a reviewer then. No, I you're, re you're instant review. Yes, I try to do the instant review. Yeah, instant review. I try to instant <laughs> okay. review so that I, I, I feel content about what I have given. I give my best. I try to give my best. This is a positive view. And once I have managed to hold a positive view through most of the conversation, uh, I don't have much to review afterwards. This is not to say that you totally ignore him, because, but when people do speak a lot and they have a lot of issues, they don't really need answers for every topic they raise. They just need a general positive air, uh, uh, somebody who is sympathetic. So I try to create a mm. sympathetic state of mind, a sustaining state of mind, a positive state of mind, because I feel that if someone in a way comes to us sick, we should not become sick because they are sick. We need to be more strong and more positive and uplifting so that the person feels supported in our company. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Support is a very important thing that uh, everybody around us need to have. Sometimes we need support, sometimes we need to give support. Um, so. Uh, so it's Monday, the first week of October. So this month or this for the rest of the week, we are trying to remember the feeling of joy and bring joy in every moment of your life. Find the joy within yourself. So until then, until next week, goodbye.